Hi there. Today we're going to go over how to perform a high accuracy shading analysis using LiDAR in Aurora. The first step is to outline the building surface in Aurora. This is typically a very quick process as you can see in this example. Next, click on Aurora's patented algorithms that automatically identify the azimuths and the edge types of your house. In this case, you can see that Aurora also automatically identified the setbacks of this roof surface. Save, and then click on 3D. Once in 3D mode, click on Download LiDAR, Confirm you'd like to download, and give Aurora three to four seconds to retrieve your information. Once the data downloads, you will see that it gives you a 3D map of the site. In this case, you can see the building's outlines, trees, other houses, and other sorts of obstructions that might actually cause shading on your particular site. With Aurora's latest feature, Click on the Lift Roofs icon in the top right, and Aurora will automatically adjust the building to match the height and the slopes of the roof to exactly match what you would see in your location. You can also adjust tree heights to match up with LiDAR. Remember that you have the 45 degree view in the top left, and you also have the option to toggle into Street View going to hide the LiDAR for a second here. In order to confirm the accuracy of your site. So this looks really good to me. Now the reason this is important is you want as accurate as possible a remote site assessment in order to calculate how many modules can fit on a roof surface and also for your shading purposes. One tool we have for you is the SunPath tool, where you can essentially look in really high detail for every daylight hour of the year just how much sunlight or shading you may get on this roof surface. Remember that you can always toggle on and off the satellite imagery to get a different perspective of the amount of shading you'd have on this roof surface. Once you are satisfied, hit Save, and then click on Designs. Click on Add Design, and within the layout view, you will want to perform your shading analysis again. So click on Toggle a Radiance Map, and this time it will go through the same exercise of simulating the sun's path for every daylight hour of the year, and will generate a heat map for you that contains all of your solar axis percentage and a radiance values. So if I hover my mouse across, you can see what the radiance and solar axis percentage is in high detail for every point on this roof surface. So for example, in this bottom right corner, you can see the effect of these trees in terms of shading. You can see the effect of this building on that roof surface and more. So I'm going to go ahead and create a simple microinverter design. I chose a landscape orientation and I'm setting a minimum solar axis percentage of 80% so I can avoid the shaded areas. So you can see Aurora avoided this entire area for me and it also respected my setback requirements. Let's do the same thing on some other roof surfaces. Place some modules here and I'll do the same thing over here as well. From here it's very easy to manipulate modules. So for example, I might decide that I'm going to move one module over here, or I might decide that instead of having these as landscape, I am going to go ahead and add them as portrait modules, just to have a more flexible design. Place one over there, I can copy and paste it, place one right next to it. If I want to pull up some summary information, I just click on my Roof Face Characteristics button, 
and I can pull up what the average solar axis percentage is across my modules and across the roof surface as a whole. In addition to the pitch, surface area, azimuth, and number of modules on this roof surface. Of course, I can go ahead and show my customer exactly what their house would look like with modules on it in very rich three-dimensional color. Of course, this is only a portion of what you can do in Aurora. You can perform detailed engineering and financial analysis as well. To learn how to do so, please watch the videos in the help section of your Aurora account.